everybody, it's me, Miss Laura. So I'm gonna try filming a little bit differently today. I'm gonna to keep this view that y'all see now for most of the video and I'm just trying something out. So here is our project for today. It's a cute pumpkin that we're making with tissue paper. I have a template here that you're gonna cut out and then we'll glue it to another sheet of paper just to give it some um, more sturdiness and um, it doesn't matter what color background you use. I wanted to mention about tissue paper that um, since a lot of our art projects do have tissue paper in them, you can go to Walmart or Dollar General or Dollar Tree and most of those places you can get an assortment of tissue paper colors for very little money, maybe a dollar or just a little bit more than a dollar. So if you wanna just get an assortment and then we'll be using those more in the future too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I have my template over here. I'm just gonna kind of switch this so you can see it still. Put it back there and I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my pumpkin. So now I have my pumpkin all cut out and I went ahead and glued it to my background paper. And our next step is we are going to glue the tissue papers down. And how we do that is I make what I call a watery glue. And so you have your glue and your water and you're just gonna put them both in a small cup. You don't need a whole lot for the project, but you're gonna have about half glue and half water. If, you, if, if the ratios are not perfect, it doesn't matter if you have a little bit more water or a little bit more glue. You just want it to be watery enough where you can use it like thin paint. It's gonna, you're gonna be painting it on. You see how that looks there? So we've got it watery now, the watery glue. And I'm just mixing it up with my brush. You can use any brush that you have at home. It does not matter. You just want to make sure when you're done with the project that you rinse your brush out really well. So now I have my watery glue and I'm going to go ahead and paint the glue on my pumpkin. You can go ahead and do it all over the whole thing. Lots of times, depending on how large our project that we're doing, we might just paint like half the glue on because this glue, because it's watery now, it does dry quicker than if it was not watered down. So I've covered my whole pumpkin with the watery glue and now I'm going to start using my colors and I'm just going to kind of scatter these all around. I'm just going to see where I like to put them. Remember, you just want to do one at a time. Lots of times when we cut these tissue papers up, they get nice and stuck together. And we just want to use one at a time. That way we're not wasting the tissue papers. And also, the picture just turns out prettier than to have them all clumped and stuck together. To me, sometimes this is the trickiest part of the whole picture is pulling these tissue papers apart from each other. So I'm just scattering them all around. Got my, this is a light orange. I've got a darker orange. If the pack that you buy, if it doesn't have two colors of orange, that's okay. You don't really need but one color. I just thought since I happen to have these two colors of orange in my cabinet, we could go ahead and use them. And I'm still just scattering them around covering up almost all the white that we see underneath. <clears throat> you see in my sample here, you can see just a few little specks of white throughout, and that's all right. We don't have to have it 100% covered up. We just want most of it covered up. So I'm getting my darker orange down. And 
in some of the classes we've been talking about mixing colors together and so to make orange we mix yellow and red to make orange so I'm going to put just a little bit of yellow in here too just to give it some variety make it real pretty and colorful I always feel like pumpkins are such a nice art project to do in the fall. Here we are in the month of November, and it's going to be Thanksgiving time soon. We'll all be enjoying our pumpkin pie that we eat on Thanksgiving. So in the last color I have that I wanted to use I tend to like to use the darkest color last so it's, the whole picture doesn't turn out too dark. Right now I'm just adding a little bit more of the watery glue. It dried on me just a little bit. And so, oh, and I also wanted to put brown for our stem up here. I think I'm going to cut it down a little bit, cut it about the same size as my stem and the leaf. So I think that's a good size right there. I'm going to put that right there. And then this one, I'm going to cut kind of in the shape of a leaf. It's not perfect. I always say there's no such thing as perfection in art. It's that we do our best. That's all we can ask for. I think it looks beautiful. And then I'm just going to kind of cover up. Anywhere I see like a lot of white, I'm going to put a piece of brown down to cover most of that up. There we go. This one's kind of big. If my if I cut them too big in the beginning, I can cut them again and make them a little smaller. Just like that. Alrighty, just a few more and I think we'll be done. I'm going to use these little scraps that I see over here and some of the smaller white places that I have. I think that's looking good. I want to add a few more of these darker oranges. See how we can, we can always overlap to stand up for just a second so that light turns back on. So in the last step I like to do when I use this watery glue and tissue paper technique is I take one more layer of glue and put it all over just so I know that the papers are lying flat. You don't want so much glue that it's going to take forever to dry. So I think this turned out really pretty. Alright, so once it dries, you won't see any of the glue anymore like this one. And that's our project for today. I hope you had fun and please send me pictures of your projects, okay everybody? We'll talk to you later. Bye.